Welcome to MMA Play 365. I'm Newsom, and I'm here to talk about the recap from UFC Vegas 50 from the Bayes AI perspective with our UFC prediction software. There's a few fights that I want to run over from that AI perspective. And the first one straight away was the dog of the week, the Bayes AI dog of the week. The Bayes AI prediction software picked Guido Canetti to win over Chris Moutinho, which initially raised my eyebrows. I thought Moutinho was going to be able to run through Canetti, but Bayes AI said no. And actually it gave Canetti a 68% chance of winning that fight, which I think is the highest percentage prediction that Bayes AI has given an underdog to date. And actually the odds implied that Bayes AI was saying that Guido Canetti should have been minus 213, which you know seems nuts pre-fight but actually you could have got Canetti for plus 140. So a lot of value there. The underdog of the week from the Bayes AI prediction software won that absolutely solidly. And actually when you break that down a little bit further, it said that Canetti by KO TKO was 27%, which odds implied is plus 270 on the betting line though, plus 650. Again, some insane value there as well. And even if you want to take that even further, you've got Canetti KO TKO in round one specifically, 21% odds implied, plus 376. On the money line though, it was plus 1500. So again, insane value across the board for Guido Canetti. Bayes AI nailed that. Bayes AI knows. The second fight that I want to talk about, Cody Brundage versus Dolce Lundy and Bula. Brundage, that Bayes AI said he had a 56% chance of winning the fight. 56%. Odds implied is minus 127. Brundage was actually plus, one ten, plus 125 on the money line as an underdog. So plenty of value there if you wanted to play Brundage straight. But then taking that further, Brundage submission, 25%. Bayes AI said that likelihood was. Odds implied plus 300. The line at the book is plus 700. Again, insane value. I think you know where we're going with all this. Let's take it another step further. Brundage submission in one, round one specifically, 25%, which odds. And again, let's take it one step further again. Brundage by submission in round one specifically. Bayes AI said it had a 70, sorry, 17% probability. 17% 17 is plus 488 odds implied. On the money line, though, it was plus 1,600. So, again, absolutely insane value, just like the Kinetti fight on all levels. Plenty of value to be looked at there. And then the last fight that I want to talk about was a bit of an interesting one, and I just want to give you a little bit of insight of how and why and all that good stuff. So, Alex Pereira versus Bruno Silva. So, the AI actually predicted that Bruno Silva to win was 53%. So, obviously, that prediction didn't come out right. Now... When you break it down a little bit more, Pereira to win by KO TKO was actually 47%. Silver KO TKO was 46%. So what the AI has actually done there is it said Silver has a 53% chance of winning, but Pereira is the more likely fighter to win via knockout. Obviously, the reason Silver was at 53% is because the AI said he had more opportunities via submission and more likely to win a decision as well. So just really interesting. I just wanted to explain that, you know, for those that are looking at the results on the MMA Play 365 website. But I love the way the, the Bayes AI breaks that down because even though I didn't agree that Silver should have been 53%, I love the fact that the AI said, look, this fight is... Fighter A is going to win, but Fighter B's got the greatest chance of, of winning by knockout. And that knockout number was actually greater than the submission and decision from both fighters as well. So I love the way Bayes AI actually analysed that fight and, and you know, predicted those outcomes. So that's all from the Bayes AI recap for UFC Vegas 50. If you do want to see the full results, they're all on our website at MMAplay365.com. We'll be back to recap UFC London next week once that event has taken place. I'm really looking forward to that event. I can't wait to see the predictions for that event as well. I'm Newsom. Thank you for listening. We'll see you next week.